Yo, what's the word, gang? So, we got some news to report when it comes down to Lil Dirk, this whole Lil Dirk situation. So, it's a lot going on. I know a lot of people been doing updates, telling you, you know, this is that, what is what. But, um, after looking to, through some of this paperwork, come to find out, this is actually probably breaking news. And maybe this is going to, you know, help Lil Dirk in the long run, right? So, one of the things that they described, one of the overacts they described was that these plane tickets was purchased to San Diego using Lil Dirk's credit card, OTF credit cards, right? Now, that's not true. Now, here's the facts. It was through Astronaut Sounds, LLC. Now, hear me out. Astronaut Sounds, LLC is owned by Lil Dirk's old manager, Ali. So, my thing is, I never seen Ali name mentioned in this indictment. Now, I know for a fact if, like you said, these plane tickets was purchased on a particular credit card and the owner is still alive, why would they not talk to the owner? Of course they did. Of course the feds went to go talk to Ali in regards to the situation. Now, if he's cooperating or not, that's something different. But let's put it to bed. The rumor of the plane tickets being purchased with OTF credit card is not true. It was purchased using a credit card from an LLC called Astronaut Sounds. Now, it's been a lot of things, a lot of speculation. You know, I just posted the picture on the screen. You know, that, that was one of the, you know, them shit popping out. You can see the individuals. They got a lot going on, you know. Um, they wanted to get Quando Rondo, whoever it is, because they said that not only that day they went to go shoot it up and they killed Lil' Pab, but the very next day they went and did a reroute and tried to go look for Quando Rondo again, you know what I'm saying, to, to try to get the main target. Now, y'all heard we mentioned San Diego, so... A bunch of these guys flew in through San Diego. One of the guys are a local, which is Coca Spirito 4. Now, Coca Spirito 4 is definitely a local because of the way they described them in the paperwork. But don't nobody know who that local is. And it makes sense for something, you know, as detailed as a murder being taking place in a whole nother state. And these individuals not supposed to be from this state, right? They probably going to holler at somebody with boots on the ground. You know, uh, we've we been hearing the, the situation where they said that Brick Baby dropped it low. I think Cuff Boys, Cuff Boys put up a video yesterday that said, here's proof that Brick Baby said that he dropped it low. Now, this is the thing with Brick Baby. He said he was trolling. He liked to troll and all these different things. Now, the problem is, why would... Why would he be trolling online in regards to a murder? Why would he be trolling somebody like Quando Rondo? Now, if y'all don't remember, Brick Baby did an interview with Quando Rondo and um, Adam 22, like uh, maybe a year ago, maybe less than a year ago. You know, it's supposed to be this tell-all interview. And even then, the interview, they did them wrong on the interview. Some of the things should have been chopped out. They just let it play out. And put the video out, look like raw footage, right? The interview. And Quando Rondo came back on social media the very next day talking about F you Brick Baby and F you Adam 22. We ain't heard much since, but he definitely saying he wasn't rocking with them no more because he felt he got played because they didn't want to, you know, cut or clip any of the, some of the, the stuff that was inside the interview that didn't need to be in the interview. You know, his cousin walking in the background. He had said some things about um, King Von. He didn't want in the interview, but they still put it in the interview. Um, you know, it was just a bunch of different things. But Co-Conspirator 3 purchased the airline tickets. And we know who that is. That's, you know, the guy, Lindsey, right? That was Lindsey. They purchased the tickets for Wilson Jones and Lindsey in Houston. And co the two to travel from Chicago to Illinois to San Diego. 
So they went from Houston to Chicago to San Diego all that same day, gang. All that same day. Now this dude, Vunny, is the one who made the purchase, right? The guy, Vunny, he the one made the purchases on the credit card. But again, that credit card is not an OTF credit card. It's an Action R Sounds LLC credit card. Now, they saying the co-conspirator too flew from Chicago, Illinois, to San Diego, California via airplane ticket procured by co-conspirator three using OTF credit card one. They saying that Jones Lindsay in Houston and co-conspirator two traveled towards Los Angeles County in a car to meet with the defendant Grant. Grant purchased four black ski masks. From a sporting goods store in Los Angeles. So they even got. When they made the purchase of this ski mask. You know at a sporting goods store. More than likely. They probably got camera footage right. The camera footage. But again. The outcloud messages. That little Dirk. You know was, was saying. Don't book no plane tickets. You know saying. Um, anybody that's connected to me. It sounds to me that could be argued in court because all these guys will be connected to him, right? So he, he's saying don't book no plane tickets for nobody, right? Because all of them are connected to him. Now, the local guy, he's probably already boots on the ground, so he don't need a plane ticket, right? So this, these some of the things that's going to pop up in this, this whole trial, I'm believing. And I believe that Lil Dirk probably got a fighting chance. Now, the feds are hard to beat, I must say. Y'all know the conviction rate. But a lot of them people plea out, cop out. Now, Lil Dirk once said in the song, he said, look. He said, if your homie snitching, ain't no reason to get a hotel. I mean, ain't no reason to get a, um, a lawyer. Because you cook pretty much. Now, Lil Dirk had the best year of his his life this year, this past year, right? He was in power, you know, coming off winning a Grammy. Um, tour, successful tour, pushing peace. You know, getting keys from different suburbs in Chicago. One of the best, I think one of the best years of his life. But the feds don't care about none of that, bro. They don't care about none of that. And then another thing, the state of California, as consideration for the receipt of and consideration of the promise of agreement to pay anything of value, namely money and lucrative music opportunities with OTF. Now, that could be hearsay. And they talk about this dude, Jim, wearing the wire. What, what was really said, like, just because a person wear a wire don't mean that you found anything. Like, somebody can wear a wire around me right now. Shit, I don't talk about crimes, you know, or like just say that you was in the streets. I'm not in the streets no more, right? But let's just say you in the streets. Everybody know they don't talk about everything around everybody. I don't give a fuck who you is. You could be a 20-year dude, but when we around him, we don't talk about so-and-so, so-and-so. That's just how it go. So that's another key detail I want to point out and, and mention because that could be a reason why Lil Dirt could be saved in this situation. You know, somebody else could be the sacrifice. You know, who that might be, I don't know. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. But yeah, it, it's like guns blazing. You know, this this right here, this paperwork that you're seeing, because now that they open it up, it was filed 1024. And these pages are brand new just two days ago, the day that Lil Dirk got locked up. And the reason being is because they said that Lil Dirk was threatening people who they thought could be potential witnesses. Now, we seen OTF Twin make a post maybe an hour or two before Lil Dirk was reportedly arrested. And they had some pictures of a dude in this dude OTF Jim and saying that he's a rat. Right? He was cooperating. But... Apparently, they got wiretaps of Lil Dirk threatening different people who can be potential witnesses saying that he's going to largely kill them or have them killed. So, 
It's crazy how the feds made sure they put that in there. And the fact that them plane tickets was booked, it looks as if he's a flight risk. So no need to give him a bun. So more than likely, you know, they'll probably go back to court and try to get a bun um, probably in the next 14 days, I'm pretty sure. Um, but other than that, I don't think he's going to be able to get a bun because of them two facts. You know, it's kind of like Diddy. It's like, damn, if you do, damn, if you don't. Like, he was ready to turn this stuff in. But because his jet had, was leaving out of uh, Miami, I mean, his jet had landed in New York. They thought it was a potential that he was going to get on that jet. So they went ahead and arrested him. You know, could have been pre premature. Same thing with Lil Dirk. You know, me personally, I, I think that Lil Dirk indictment was lingering. They already had did this grand jury for the first five back in June. So them meeting for the grand jury back in June and then they unsealing it a few days ago. That's usually they practice, right? So if they had a grand jury meet up about Lil Dirk earlier this month, I believe on the 17th, right? More than likely, they was probably going to unseal that maybe the first quarter of next year. You know, like June, I mean, July, some shit. I mean, not July, January, pardon me. I'm thinking of the Jays, but um, probably January. But because of the whole situation with the threats and the flights being booked, they thought Lil Dirk was possibly panicking. So whoever was sitting on that, whatever agent, FBI agent that was sitting on Lil Dirk, would panic and they called the dogs. They made a phone call to a judge to get a warrant for his arrest, and they went ahead and arrested him, U.S. Marshals. But um, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. As y'all can see, this is the official paperwork. This is, you know, right there that says October 17th. That was the first grand jury meet in regards to uh, co-conspirator one, which we find out is a little dirt, as well as putting out a warrant for his arrest. You know, this was issued... Judge signed it, and they went ahead and made that move. You know, they said the furtherance in the crime of violence. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to that. It says discharge firearms and machine guns in possession of such firearms in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting to death in violation of U.S. Penal Code. Now, think about this. They said machine guns. Now, let's go back to this picture real quick. Now, them look like handguns, right? Must be a switch on there because, you know, when you put a switch on a handgun, it becomes a what? A machine gun. So, yeah, it's one of them situations, gang. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, drop some, another video after this one. Um, y'all stay tuned. Got some more breaking news, but y'all know what it is.